Hello. Um, I just went on this server and pressed escape to pause it. So let's see. This is the H-A-N-S server. Taming animals. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have a look at this. So I spawn right over here. And this travel net, if I right click, they have different things here. Uh, let's try the tree farm. So if you hit shift and left click, it will auto chop the tree. And I see they have blueberries and cotton here. So shift, left click. Notice it says wood cutting active. The shift key is the sneak key. So when you get on a server, uh, the wood would let you make basic armor and would also let you make basic tools. Now, uh, once I get this tree, we'll have a look around a little bit. As you see, it's auto-chopping the tree for me. And as it auto-chops, apparently they have designed this so that the um, it automatically replants. If you hit F5, you'll be able to see information on there. Now, uh, if you go over here, there's steps going down. We go down the steps and clicking these chests, there's some apples here. I'll certainly take those. And there's some wood that this has soaked up. Clicking each of the chests uh, lets us grab these. Apples are basic food. You see the breads are down. If I eat an apple, I go up by one bread for each apple. Um, the tubes also go to the chest here, it looks like. Plenty of wood. I don't think I need much more than that. Okay. Um... So this is the tree farm. Uh, free farm, please replant. So let's use the travel net. Public farm, I'll click that. Now, with all this wood, that crafts wood planks. You can put the wood planks in there. And a, I think a sword usually does well to pick stuff up. And I think the first thing we would want is, um, actually, I'll just go down between the lights, is cotton. What we'll do is we'll make bags. When you die, whatever's in your bags will stay in your bags. Ah, it's auto planning. You saw that? Very good. Well, let's see how much of this auto plants. Uh, 
there goes my sword. Wood sword's not that much faster, huh? Um, you, and uh, bags extend, of course, what you can hold. And if you die, whatever's in your bags stays in your bags. Therefore, you will most likely want to make bags one of the first things you make. And you will need to go to the public farm to get cotton. Or you can go explore and find cotton and make your own farm. But that would take time. This is much quicker. So if you'll just be patient at the beginning of the game... Uh, you will want to get the wood and uh, get the cotton, I think, is probably one of the good next things. And this does auto plant here. Awesome. So let's see. Uh, to make bags, you can type bag in the inventory. And I'll need uh, wool and string. So it takes generally four to make the uh, the white wool and string would be um, one above the other. Now bag, let's see, I'll put two here. Actually, let's make four. And then I'll put four of these here. And that gives me four small bags. Now if I put two small bags in there and strings on either side, I get a medium bag. And another two strings on each side, I get another medium bag. And then if you put two medium bags here and strings on either side, you get a large bag. Click the bags, stick the large bag up there, click bag one, and then you can move your stuff in your inventory that you're not using up into the bag. Now I have 227 cotton seeds. I'll put a stack of 99 up in the bag, but I don't need all those cotton seeds. So let's walk. Is that a monster? Okay, let's go to the travel net and go to somewhere else away from the monster. Hmm. Okay, so you all saw that monster there. I think we'll need to make basic armor. So to make basic armor, uh, it, wood planks, wood, uh, you can make wooden armor. You can always click armor in there, but uh, let's see. If you go across the top and uh, one down on each side, you get a wooden helmet. If you go two up on each side, you get boots. If you do everything but the center space with wood planks, you get, uh, but the top center, you get a wood chest plate. If you go up and across the top and down, you get wood leggings. And then leave the two uh, bottom corners open, fill the rest with wood, you get a wooden shield. So now that will give us a little bit of protection here. Now a cobblestone sword is much better than, so you know what, I think we'll take a minute and we'll make a wood pick and we'll go to the public mine and uh, we'll see what we can get there. So we look down and you see the public mine. They have various distances underground. 
Let's try negative 1004. Okay. Uh, somebody put some torches here. No idea who did that. Uh, the um, call will let you make uh, torches yourself. There's mithril that would uh, be good for a sword. I'm just going to use up this wood pick to get as much starting cobblestone as I can get, unless I see something like this coal. And then I'm going to grab the silver and the mithril. And I'm going to show you something about the server. If you've been patient to stick with me to this point, as I've been going kind of slow, first I'll make a cobblestone sword in case I need to defend myself. And let's, um, let's make a quick pick. We'll grab some of the stuff here, a little more, and then we will head to um, see this is tin. I'm not really interested in that. Now I'm getting a little extra cobblestone and I will show you why in just a second. Oh, and I'll show you a trick. This guy left a torch here, right? Let's take it. We'll walk over here. And we'll throw a torch down over here for us. So. Grab as much cobblestone and any other good metal that I can get quickly. Just real quick, just grab now, I went to negative 1,000 because you tend to get more stuff the further down you are. Like, I got that mithril there. Uh, money, keeping that up here. Let's just use up this pick, if you don't mind. Thought I'd see some other metals doing this. Okay, so now you can type slash spawn to get back to the travel net. And let's go to the public workshop. And I will save. Let's see, let's put 10 make uh, along the diagonals of the cobblestone to get gravel. And now let's see if I walk over to the um, they have gravel sieves here? No, actually gravel sieves. There they are. Okay, place gravel, so I'll place some gravel in the gravel sieve where it says, the sign says place gravel. Now, if you walk over to the other end, remove stuff, in a few minutes, it will sort the gravel 
and then give us various um, metals here. the seed metal in the corner there. Not really interested in that. Not really interested in tin. Notice I got more silver there. So just go back and keep on dropping the gravel where it says place gravel. See, there's iron and chrome coming through here and extra coal. So you'll get extra stuff this way out of the cobblestone that you've mined. Just going to spend a couple of minutes doing this to get a better sword, among other things, better equipment. Based on the amount of metals we get, I'll, we'll decide what we're going to build to use um, in the early part of the game here. Coal will be good for torches, for example at the beginning. Lead and tin, well, copper, I believe, and uh, mentioning copper, and uh, can be combined to make a uh, bronze, I believe. If you search bronze, which is better than a lot of other metals. Seven copper and one tin. So if we can get seven coppers and one tin, we can get eight bronze ingots. Spend a few minutes playing around with the gravel sieves. We'll save you time on mining metals, usually. You can get mithril. I believe you can get diamonds and mees. So you can get good metals out of this, but uh, it's kind of a little bit like rolling the dice. You don't know what you're gonna, you don't know what you're gonna get out of these sieves. Of course, the more you do, the more opportunities you have to get good stuff. It does take a few minutes. I guess if you were doing other things, you could do that. And you can use multiples of these if there's nobody in here. Um, you can spread this out to several of them. So two copper, if we have enough tin, would let us make 16 um, bronze, which is not half bad. Armor takes roughly 50 ingots to make, metal armor. And uh, we would like to improve off of the wood armor. Almost done here. Don't forget to eat as your breads get down. Boy, it keeps on recycling gravel to us.
check in the remove stuff area. You can look in the sieve area to see if it's done anything. Okay, so now we then go to the public workshop with those metals. Go to the grinder and place in what metals you're going to want to use. So like mithril's good. That single dot, notice it gives me two dust. If I put in a, an iron, it gives me two iron. And notice the two silver will give me four silver. So I'll make a silver, I'll make some things out of silver and I'll make some things out of mithril. So now we go to the furnace, put the mithril in the furnace to turn it into ingots, the silver into the furnace, we'll get the silver ingots, and the wrought iron. I'm not going to bother with these other things right now. So I don't think I'm going to need them. Now, rather than a stone sword, we have two mithril ingots. We can get more mithril later. Um, so I am going to use those to make a good sword to defend myself when I'm attacked. And, uh, and also to farm with. And again, two wood and three silver will give me a pickaxe. So I have a better pickaxe here. Okay, sorry about that music. And then um, let's head back over to the farm, public farm. And let's get more. We have room for three more bags. Now, is there any monsters? Because we got a mithril sword and a little bit of armor. And now we should have no problem fighting those. All right, let's use up the stone sword here. So if I don't destroy the stone sword, we'll use it to get a bunch of cut to make more of those bags. So this will be a kind of playthrough, how to get started at the beginning. And I'll show you everything I do. Oh, all right, so pretty cool. I don't have to replant. Now you'll want to be careful of the mithril sword because mithril's not so easy to get. As you saw, it took us a little bit. And we got a little bit lucky to get the mithril. All right. And uh, it's replanting itself, which is nice. As a general rule on a server, if you farm and it doesn't auto replant like that, uh, you should you should replant yourself. See all these seeds I have. Let's grab whatever's, um, whatever's ripened. When the cotton said eight, if I if I point this at it, when I hit F5, you see it says cotton underscore eight. Looks like there's another player called player on here right now. Okay. Um, let's right click 
and uh, let's head to the public workshop because I just used this sword. If you go over to the far corner there, you see is the tool workshop. Place the sword in the single box and it will repair. Um, one thing you can do with the cotton seeds if you don't want them, there's a trash can in your inventory. You could just drop them in there. I don't know what else you'd do with them. Never ending cotton seeds. And then, um, so we were working on bags with the cotton and the string. So let's do what we did again and make another 50, 50 cotton and then 10 and 10 for a bunch more strings and then make four of the small bags four of the strings and the four bags will turn into one medium bag through the crafting. The small bags put the strings on the sides of the small bags gives you a medium bag. Do it again. And then two medium bags give you a large bag. Again, one advantage is the bags open inventory space. The second advantage is that when you die, the, uh, the bags will, you will lose your, you could lose some of your inventory when you die. Um, let's go far, see if we can farm more cotton. Oh, where did I put that sword? Actually, let's go to, uh, let's keep our metals up in the second bag. And let's do another round now that we have the sword armor and the ability to make um, with the wood and the coal, watch, we'll put 10 sticks well, actually, we just ate. Uh, a coal over the stick will give you torches. So now we have torches. I'll just say, hi, swan. If you click T and then type and then hit enter, you see in the upper left corner of the screen, it says, hi, swan. And see, Swan said, hi, new tube. So um, uh, it's good to be friendly. All right, let's go to the public mine. Now, somebody dug off of here. Where, wasn't there a spot where somebody had... Where did that, oh, there's a Mies monster. He looks mad, doesn't he? And you see the Mies sword makes a real difference here. The apples provide food. Although it doesn't look like I got anything from the Mies monster. So we'll just, oh, in the left corner there. Beware, those spiders are nasty. Actually, let me see. Let's go somewhere else. Those little spiders are difficult. Okay. 
I went to negative 717. Okay, can I put a torch down here and it's dark? Whoever made this at negative 717 would probably do well to stick some lights over there for people so they don't uh, get stuck. Right. Oh, somebody dug down here, so we'll just kind of follow what they did. Oh, somebody's bones. Now, a lot of times it's good just to leave the bones, but if they've been left for a long time, I hope you don't mind uh, my getting into whoever's bones these are. Somebody apparently died here. One thing to help you not to die, of course, is to do what we did and that's to just um, build a little bit of armor for yourself. Oh, let's, these, these glass things are nice, but we'll use the torches. You do, um, we'll pick up what we can mining. See all this copper we're getting here? Some replacement coal. So you get a little bit mining and you get a little bit by turning in the cobblestone in those gravel sieves to get, to get more. As long, the lower you are, generally, the more stuff you get. So you see I hit several irons here and coals. Generally, you won't get as much as this if you are higher up, closer to the surface. So the public mine is useful if you want to work a little bit to get metals fairly quickly. Now we got all this coal. I don't mind using another torch over here. So you see coals will make light for you. Chromium looks a lot like silver to me. Now make sure you don't go all the way down through the red to running your web, your tool out if you do not want to spend the extra metals to rebuild your tool. Because, you know, we can go to the workshop and just repair this when we're done. After I'm done mining here a few minutes, I'm going to go back to the public farm and see if we got any more cotton over there. So you notice I didn't stay down at the negative 1000. I used the travel network to avoid because those little spiders are a little challenging and I only have wooden armor right now. So I might be able to beat it, but I could just go to a different level on the mines. I don't even have to spend my time fighting that. But you notice we didn't have too much of a problem with that Mies monster. And that's because we had a decent sword at this point. The better the metal, generally the more damage the sword does. Okay, we're on red with the pick. 
So I'll do slash spawn. Th that gets me, actually, I don't want to lose where I'm mining here. This has been pretty good. So I'll go to I and I'll click set home. Just to show you, now if I want to go there, I click I and click the green and it puts me right back there. So I have set my I set a location for myself. By the way, if you right click this button, it makes it six o'clock in the morning, makes it sunny out. Uh, you can buy stuff. These are shops. If you right click them, if you have two tens and you click that, it will give you ninety nine compressed dirt. So the wrench is nice because you can put chests in your inventory. That's another form of storage. Although I don't know if those chests stay with you when you die. I think they do, actually. If they're in the bags, they stay with you, at least. I know that. All right, at the public farm, uh, good. These things turn into cotton. So we can use the, we'll use the sword and just grab what we can grab. We'll only get cotton for the ones that are at eight, I believe. Our goal is to get the four bags at the beginning and to get decent armor before we go out and explore. You don't you do not have to leave the spawn network in order to be fully equipped to explore. If you take advantage of all that it offers, you can have completely good armor and completely good weapons and inventory in your bags. You see that guy over there? He looks like a, like a dirt man or something. Look. Oh, it's a sand monster or something. You see, he's dead. Just left click with the sword uh, and uh, goodbye to the sand man. All right. We've got apples, so we can eat them. All right, we've used up all the cotton here. So let's go to the next location. Back to the public workshop where this person Swan is. Uh, they're messing with turning dust into ingots. These machines will, will, instead of you having to work with dust and then work with ingots, this does it all in one. Okay, now you want to be a little careful about who you have here to put your stuff in the um, machines to heal because some people will steal stuff. So uh, I know the admins don't agree with it, but the admins are not always on. So now, you know, I throw away the cotton seeds. And bag two, I'm storing metals in there. So we'll move the metals up into there. And now we needed 50 make the wool. Okay, we have plenty of wool. And actually I'll do 20 to get the string. Because I didn't see any, were we out of string? Oh, I forgot there. And uh, I won't do the 
gravel sieve entirely on the video. But I do want to show you that in a short amount of time, we can get pretty much all the equipment uh, that we need. Oh no, we need the string up there. Uh, we said we needed four bags. But actually we'll make, um, we'll try and see if we have enough to make two large bags. Since we don't need any more large bags than four, we do not need to make any more small bags here. So that's um, two small bags and four strings make a medium bag. Two medium bags and four strings make a large bag. One more large bag, and we will be done with making bags. In fact, I'd be tempted to throw away the remaining cotton. Unless I needed it for something. Okay, so now we have all four bags and I don't know how long this video has been going, but it's not, not that long. And uh, let's stick the cotton stuff in the last bag as I'm thinking of just getting rid of that stuff. Poison ivy, can get rid of that. Uh, the saplings, I'll put that in the third bag. Okay. All right, and we can take the pick out, take the sword out, now the next thing we need, uh, we last thing I'd like to do, we have 20 irons, is to finish the armor. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this off video, is uh, I'm going to go back to the gravel sieves and I'm going to sit here and using the same recipe um, as I showed you, I'm going to make A bunch of gravel the using the diagonals with cobblestone I get about a hundred gravel and uh, I'll return after I have worked with the gravel a while so thank you for watching this